Hi, welcome to the fun probability problem solving sections here. And uh, for this video, this is the second part of the uh, problems we talk about. We have n balls and a bit distributed into the R boxes here. The part when we solve the problem set, uh, you know, if the n balls, if it's a distinguished uh, n ball, and how many total different way we can be distributed to the R boxes. Also in the part one, we talk about if the n balls are indistinguished, how many different way we can solve to the R, to distribute it to the R boxes here. And the third part we solve in the part one is if the n ball indistinguishable n balls, and if none of the box is empty, and uh, then how many ways we can do it. Now let's continue the same problem. That's, this is the second part. So the second part, the first problem we try to solve is uh, if all the n balls uh, must be distributed, how many different ways are possible? If the n balls, those n balls are indistinguishable n balls and one or more boxes can be empty. Then the second part is to say, how about uh, all this uh, indistinguished ball? We don't have to distribute all of them here, okay? And uh, one of more box can be empty, then how many ways we can do that? Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to the whiteboard and uh, let's uh, take a look at how do we solve uh, this type of the problems here. Okay. Let's take a look at the first part of the first problem we try to solve for, uh, for the second part uh, of this uh, emboss to the R box here. So let's take a look from the probability point. Right? So if I want to find the probability, so it's one or more, so it's, this will be the one or more boxes. can be empty, right? So this will be equal if one or more, that means at least one box can be empty. We can use our typical probability rules. We will say probability P is none of the box, you know, can none of the box is empty, none of the box can be, now the box can be empty, right? That means uh, at least every box at least have one thing here. Okay, so this is from probability point, and then so from the total possible way. So basically, we're going to use uh, the like what is the total numbers. Uh, minus none of the box can be empty, right? So in here, the total number from the part one, we know the total number. So if I have a, a like we talked about before, this is uh, the an indistinguished box, right? And then kind of here, we kind of partition that uh, into the R parts. So we will have uh, R minus one, those little line to partition to partition the data here. So the total possible way, you know, when we do this, it will be what? It will be n plus r minus one. And then how many we take here? We take n C here, right? So this is the so this is the total possible way. Right, so this is a total possible way. Then we need to minus none of the box can be empty. That means we have to give, you know, the each box at least one ball. So how many we have left here, like we talked before? So we will have n minus r ball left, right? So we have this, uh, how many? how many balls left. So the same ways here. So this is a, 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 a. Right now I only have n minus r. So the same way I'm partition this, right? I'm partition this into the r boxes here. So the same way this uh, little 
line, partition line, how many we have? We have R minus one. So in here, now that means the total I'm have N minus R minus R minus one and take N minus R. So this is the, what did this one see here? This is none of them empty, right? So none of the box is empty here. Right, so if you simplify a little bit, then this one will be what? This is n plus r minus one to the n. So it's a minus, this is r and r cancel. So it's n, um, n minus r minus, uh, okay, so this is n minus r and um, minus r minus one here, okay? So the, let's see here. Oh, here, I made a mistake here. So this one is N minus R plus, right? We want to see total, how many, you know, the total, how many. So this will be the plus I minus R. So that's why when you cancel that out, it will be N minus one and N minus R here. So this will be the total possible way. So this is the one, okay? So then let's take a look at the problem number two see here. The problem number two, they said, uh, you know, you don't have to distribute the all the balls here. All right, so you don't have to distribute the all the balls and then the one or more box can be empty here. So let's see here, you don't have to distribute all balls here. So let's see here, this is the how many balls I'm distributing here. Okay, so let's say here, I have I balls here. Okay, so I have eyeballs I distributed here, right? So of course I could from what? I could from one to n, right? So I can only distribute one ball, I can distribute two balls, I can distribute three balls here. So since I have a box here, right? So my box here, I have a R box here, right? So I have R boxes here. So we have a two situations. So the case one see here. Okay, so case one is uh, if, uh, right? So if the I less than equal to R, that means if I have the five boxes here, I'm only distributed the two balls, three balls, or oh, four balls, balls and five balls, right? So if I only have a five, so if I is not more than the number of the boxes here, right? So if I is not more than the number of the box, so I'm not going to have the uh, situations. So I'm not going to have the situation like the none of the box is uh, empty here, right? So now let's try to do that. Okay, so here, let's, okay, I think we should say here is if i is less than r, right? So if i is less than r, that means, you know, if you have five boxes, I, my i is four balls. So I will not have the situations like the, all the box will be full, right? So for these situations here, the total number of the possible way is just like before, right? So you partition that, right? You partition that, okay? So the total number of the ways here for the case ones here will be summation because I from one to the R minus one here, right? So the to the R minus one, in total, how many you have? I have I plus R minus one, then I, right? So this is the old possible way. This is all the possible ways uh, for the case number one. Okay, so now let's take a look at case number two here. 
So if uh, the i greater than equal to r, okay so, okay, so if the i greater than equal to r, that means I'm going to use what we did previously. It's the same things. So that means I'm going to use the total numbers of the way to minus, you know, the old box is full, right? So, okay, so the total ways here is a summation. I will sum from r to n is here, right? So total possible way, how many ways here? Just like i plus r minus one and uh, take the one of the r, i is here, right? And the name minus here. Minus all of them going to be, no, non empty boxes here. So first one's here, I'm going to have a i minus r left, right? i minus r left. And uh, after that, right, so the then you're going to, you know, for the I minus R ball left, because you're going to give one ball to each, right? So now you will have is I minus one, okay? I minus one, and then here, this is the I minus R, okay? So this will be the i minus one, and this is i minus r here, right? So this will be, this is the same thing. So this is minus no empty box here, right? So you use the total possible situation minus no empty box here. All right, so now finally you just add these two, so the total possible way will just be the summation i from one to r minus one. Then this is the i plus r minus one to the i. Okay, and then plus the summation i from r to n. Then I use the total number, so it's i plus r minus one to the i minus no empty box. No empty box will be i minus one and i minus r. Yeah. That will be our answer. All right, so that is another very fun problem. Okay, hope you enjoyed the solutions here. All right. So nice talk to you and looking forward to take a look at another fun probability problems here. All right, bye, have a good day, see you.